Looking ahead to this weekend, we have to talk yet again about severe storms. Now, this is going to be rolling across the central and northern plains. So yet again, don't forget we're in May. It is peak time for severe weather. Don't let your guard down and don't get burnt out on these things. We have severe weather coming in for Saturday as well as Monday. So watching the jet stream, notice how you're going to start to get some rising air. Uh, you get those very fast moving winds up ahead uh, and aloft. So with that rising air ahead of the jet stream dip, you're also going to get a lot of moisture coming in from the south. So this is coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. This is very similar to set up them of what we've been seeing play out in the past several, several weeks. Uh, noticing you get that surge of moisture, that's gonna create a lot of instability in the atmosphere with that rising air and buoyant atmosphere. And just to the west, you're gonna get that dry line setting up and that's gonna really separate the very dry air from the moist air. And with that, they just don't interact all too well together. So as dry air tries to push further east, they'll collide, you'll get that lift and you could see some severe storm potential here. South Dakota, Minnesota, Nebraska, as well, well as Iowa. Uh, for Saturday, we'll talk about you first and noticing um, from Pierre Chamberlain towards Sioux Falls and towards Halsey, Kearney, right along I-80 there. These are all areas where it's possible to see severe uh, thunderstorms. As you get into Monday, notice we're actually shifting it a little bit further to the north, and this time you're including um, areas of Minneapolis, La Crosse, uh, Wausau, and towards Waterloo, where it's likely threat, and then anything in orange signifying it's a possible threat. So if anything, the further and the darker the color, it means it's more probable, but anybody could see it. Uh, this is the future track for Saturday afternoon, and notice this is in towards 6 o'clock, and you can start to see these storms coming together and lining up, and you'll start to see a decent line push eastward around 9 o'clock, right over winter, uh, and coming down from Aberdeen. So it's that northeast to southwest stretch, and that could really produce some very strong and gusty winds, potentially damaging winds as well. Minneapolis, here's a look at your next five days. Saturday, not so bad. Saturday's going to be nice. It's the rain coming in for Sunday, and that severe threat on Monday that you have to look for. And then by Tuesday, things are a little calmer. Uh, Nick. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.